Welcome everyone to another Khan Academy tutorial. Today, we are doing volume of prisms and pyramids. A tough one for geometry, let's go ahead and start. This pentagonal right pyramid has a base area of 30 meters squared. Okay, what is the volume of the figure? Now this helps us out a bunch by telling us the base area. Why is that important? Well, the volume, uh, the volume of a pyramid is one third Okay, the area of the base times the height, okay? So the area of the base is already given to us. We only need the height and then we're set. We're ready to roll with the rest of this problem. Now, the thing is we have to correctly identify the height. Well, we're already told the base we already know is 30, okay? So we're good there, we have 30. So we can plug that in for area of the base and we have one third. That's part of our formula for the pyramid and now we have to multiply by the height. Well, the height, is it the seven or is it the five? It is the five. Now, you use the seven for, that's the slant height, and you're gonna use that for surface area, but not for volume. Volume, we wanna know how tall is this thing? What is the altitude? So we're gonna use the five there. Five is our height. So we're gonna multiply that by five, and that's gonna be equal to our volume. Now, what I would do here is anytime you can multiply a fraction by one of the following integers, go ahead and do that first to reduce your numbers. So one third times 30, 10 times five. So we're gonna have 50 meters cubed. That's what we're talking about with volume is cubic units. 50 is our answer. Next question. Each base in this right prism-like figure is a quarter of a circle with a radius of two. What is the volume of the figure? Well, a couple clues here. One, it tells us that we're dealing with a quarter of a circle. That means we should probably calculate the whole thing, imagining if it was intact, and then just take a quarter of that volume. Okay, so let's do that. Let's pretend this thing is intact and it's all together, and we gotta find the volume of this whole thing, and then we'll take one fourth of that when we're done. Now, the volume of a cylinder is one third, sorry, not one third, don't know where he came up with that idea. It's just like a prism. It's the area of the base times the height, okay? Where the base is either end. Don't just think it has to be up and down. It's either uh, parallel end. In this case, the area of a base, because it's a circle, it's a circle, is pi r squared is the area of a base. So more specifically, this formula is pi r squared times h, which h is the distance between bases. If you can read my handwriting, between bases. Okay, now the distance between these bases then is 10, okay? That's the height. If you were to stand this up like a soup can, h would be your height. Now with the radius, we already know, radius is two, so we can go ahead and plug everything in and we can get the volume. Now that's the volume of the whole thing. That's the W, the whole thing. We're gonna do one fourth of that later. Don't forget about that. Okay, let's go ahead and plug and chug. Volume equals pi times, uh, leave in terms of pi. Okay, so we're gonna leave in terms of pi. We're gonna have two squared and then we're gonna multiply that guy times 10. Two squared is four and then multiply that by 10 and multiply that by pi. So we're gonna get 40 pi for the volume of the whole thing, but we only want one fourth of that. Remember, we have this quarter little thing, so we're gonna multiply by one fourth and we have 10 pi there. Now, this is not the same as surface area. If it was surface area, we would have to take into account that exposed surface and that exposed surface, but luckily it's just volume, which is all that dense stuff inside. So we're just looking at 10 pi meters cubed here. 10 pi meters cubed, check it. Next question. This oblique cylinder has a volume of 90 meters cubed and a base of 12 meters squared. What is the height of the cylinder? Okay, we're gonna go in reverse now. So we already know that volume equals pi r squared h. We're trying to find h, that's our goal. We're looking for h because we're already given the volume. The volume is 90 pi, and we already know the radius. The radius is 12, uh, no, the base area is 12, sorry, it get a little dark. So my base area, area of my base is 12 pi m squared. Okay, now, area of the base. 
We already said that the area of a base for a cylinder is pi r squared. We are told that that is equal to 12 pi. This and this are the same thing. We're going to replace it with 12 pi. We can't forget our h. That's what we're looking for. And the volume we already know is 90 pi. So now we just have to simply uh, divide here to solve for h. We're going to divide both sides by 12 pi. 12 pi. That cancels out on that side, and then we have the pi's are going to cancel, and then we have 90 divided by 12. Uh, that does not go in evenly, so we have 90 divided by 12. It might be a 0.5. Yep, it's equal to h. h equals 7.5. Okay, so 7.5 meters is the height between these two. It doesn't matter that it's an oblique. It has no effect on the volume of the cylinder. Okay, the square based oblique pyramid has a volume of 12 m cubed. What is the height of the pyramid? Very similar problem, very, very similar. Again, we need to know that volume equals one third, as I type a three, write a three, area of the base times the height. Okay, what do we know? This square based oblique pyramid has a volume of 125 m cubed. Okay, so we know the volume. Volume we got, 125 m cubed, 125. Okay, that's equal to one third, that stays the same. Area of the base, now that we can figure out based on this, take a look. We have five by five, we can find that area of the base. We know is going to be, let me write it out just so you can see, five times five, 25. So we can say that the area of the base is 25. But what about our h? Again, we are missing the h, which is that distance right here. Okay, we're talking about altitude, straight up, straight down, times h. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to say 125 equals one-third times 25 times h. I don't know why I just wrote the whole thing again, just <laughs> a different color. So what I'm going to do, 20, I'm going to write 25 over 3 times h. So now I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of it. Okay. That cancels with that. We're left with H on the right. Now we have 125 is going to cancel with the 25, leaving me 5. 5 times 3 in the numerator, 15. So my H is equal to 15 meters. These are great problems. I hope you found that my explanation was great. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had success like we did today. And if you have any more mathematical needs, Khan Academy, worksheets, whatever it is, leave a comment. Tell me what you need. I'll do my best to make you a video. Um, thanks for stopping on by, and I hope you come again to West Explains Best. Thank you.